What's going on, YouTube? It is Sam's Diecast Showroom. Welcome to the showroom one more time. Today we're going to be cracking open some exotic Hot Wheels cars. These are from the 2023 HW Exotic set, and we have six examples here to open up today. All right, we got a brand new model, the Bugatti Bolide. Such a sweet casting. Check this out, guys. This is from the 6 of 10, uh, 6 of 10 from the Exotic series, rather. Beautiful gloss black with those aero disc wheels. We're going to crack it open and take a closer look. Love the blue designs on this. Number 213 of 250, a brand new model. And this is from 2023 N case. Can't believe that we're already in the 2024 Hot Wheels line, guys. I just uploaded a video on the 2024 cars. Check that out. And there's some info you can read on the Bugatti Bolide 2020 uh, French vehicle. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the city. And um, rear mid W16 engine in this. Enough rambling on it. Let's crack this brand new model open. This is such an awesome supercar. I'm glad they put this into the main line the bugatti bolide nice clean open there check that out that might be our thumbnail if we can hold it still there just for a second beautiful gloss black like i said those air disc wheels really hit hard um plastic roofing love the blue designs on this like an entirely blue top and some white accents there i think those might be the headlights look how aerodynamic this is Kind of insane, look at that. Rear end there, nice diffuser in the back. Don't know too much about this car in real life, but I know that it's a nice vehicle indeed. Beautiful hypercar by Bugatti. Such an awesome little ride, and I'm glad they put this in the Hot Wheels line. Looks absolutely stunning. All right, this is in the HW Exotic series, five of 10. This would suit better in an HW Drift series. But they didn't do that for 2023, so this is an exotic, the Mad Mike Drift Attack. And this is a new model for 2023 as well. There's a facsimile of his signature, 209 of 250. Well, this is from Q-Case, so they did this one pretty late. Alright, and this is actually based off of a custom Mazda 787D that my Mad Mike Widet, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name, he's a... Australian drifter, professional drifter, and he create he built the Mad Mike Drift Attack vehicle from a Mazda 787D. So here it is. They don't say anything about Mazda on the packaging, but this is based off a of Mazda. Metal, white is metal. Check those designs out. Really cool with a blue plastic base. Yeah, it's a brand new model. Different wheels in the front and back. Awesome little drift car here. And grain blue and white. Nice color scheme on this. Not bad looking for a, well, I guess some could call it a fantasy car, but it is based off a car in real life, which is built off of a Mazda. So I'd say this is a real vehicle in turn. But there's a little spin around of it there. Toyo tires. There's Mad Mike's kind of logo there. And pretty awesome as a Hot Wheels. This is the very last car in the 2023 lineup. McLaren Solus GT, number 10 of 10, of course, and 250 of 250. And that is from the 2024 A case. They carried it over. This was first found in the 2023 Q case, but yeah, every two cases, or they'll put a car in every two cases, unless it's a super treasure hunt or, uh, or a regular treasure hunt. Anyways, um, yeah, this is another, this is another new model. <laughs> Three new models in a row, huh? Yeah, ultra rare single seater fantasy and reality shatters the boundary between fantasy and reality. 10,000 RPM. What? Put that in perspective. My Celica red lines at 5,800, 56, 5,800 RPMs. There we go, 250 of 250. Very nice, got those 10 spokes. Very exotic, kind of a grayish, bluish color stripe. Nice white with the chrome rims. Big fin in the back that has a number 91 on it. Very cool, gotta love these. 
McLaren Soulless GT. Look at that rear end. That is mean looking. And there's the base. Made in Malaysia, all these models are. Alright, we got a couple of Koenigseggs here. Um, in 2023, they came out with two colors. The kind of like a yellow one here. And a dark orange, I want to say. And they made an orange one that's right in the middle. And they also made a, um, let's see, what was the first color? It was gray. And those came out in 2022 as new models. So these are recolors for 2023. We'll open this one first since it came out first. This is a 4 of 10. 188 of 250 on the year. Damage card for sure. I bought two of them, one to keep in the packaging. That's from LK, so a little bit earlier in the year. Alright, yellow Koenigsegg Gamera. And this has the black 10 spoke wheels, black plastic base. Looking at it, a Malaysia made car, very nice detail. Um, I know it's a, it's a family sized hypercar, I think. Four seater? No, I think it's still a two seater. I'm not sure. I don't remember what I read on the Koenigsegg Gamera. Love the details, though. For a, for a hypercar, though, I don't think... I mean, it looks good, but it just doesn't... It doesn't look the best. You know what I mean? But it still looks really fire. And there's the signature top Koenigsegg roof kind of thing. Anyway, I'd call this, like, scarlet or dark orange. I wouldn't say light red. It's more of an orange tint off camera. And this is just, this has the same numbers and stuff. It's just a newer recolor. 2024 A case. So this was carried over from the 2023 Q case. Get her open. And this one has a, does it have metallic? This is not metallic. But I wonder if this is. Maybe I'll take a closer look and see if it is. Oh yeah, it is metallic. Alright, so they did a metallic dark orange on this one, like a scarlet. Once again with those black 10 spokes, they spin very well in this particular example. Not a bad looking casting at all. Yeah, the wheels spin really well on this. Pretty dang nice if you ask me. And nothing but headlights and taillights for the D- Oh, no! There's a paint chip there. I hate it when that happens. I absolutely hate it, but you never know what you're going to get with these $1.18 die cast. That's all right. We will live, I believe. Hopefully. And last but not least, we're going to be opening up a Lambo. Lamborghini Reventune. Reventone? I think that's how it's pronounced in Italy. Reventone? Got an accent over the O. I don't know. Reventon. I don't know how we pronounce it in the US. Should have looked up how to pronounce them, but... I didn't. <laughs> 8 of 10. 60th anniversary of Lamborghini. 224, 250. Uh, end case as well. Probably cringing at my pronunciation of things. Took Spanish. I don't know how different Spanish is in pronunciation from Italian. Reventon. <laughs> Reventon had some zest to that. Oh gosh, anyways, back to the video. Alright, so we got a plastic base. This is actually an older casting. 2008. And already, this is such a sweet ride. Look at that back wheel kind of going into the fender there. Pretty neat. Put some spacers on that. And just, yeah, you can see the wheel well. Maybe extend those and it'll look better. Extend the axles, maybe. Is this a defect? You gotta be kidding me. Another defect. Oh, it's a piece of paper. Oh, no. So that... Oh, man. So that messed up the stripe. Yeah, that piece of paper right there messed up the stripe. So that must have been a foreign object that got underneath the painting machine. Anyway, this is a spectacular metallic red. Or more of like... Maybe it's a dark orange. I'm not sure. Is it the same color as the Koenigsegg? I think it might be a little darker. It is a little darker than the Koenigsegg, so I'd say this is a metallic red. And the Trap 5 rims, these aren't the best looking rims in my opinion, but it looks good on this car. And I like how they did the red on red, that's one thing that I noticed about this car. There's the rear vents, 
black roof, red stripe there, black stripe there. Love the detail as well as the stripes. I think Hot Wheels is adding a little bit more detail on their cars since the prices are going up. That's not how it works. I think they're just doing it because, you know, it's better. It looks All right, you guys, take your pick. Which one was your favorite? Mine was the Bleed for sure. Um, Lambo will come in second. That's not the Lambo. I don't know what I'm doing. And the rest are all, eh, nah. But great job by Hot Wheels on these. Hot Wheels did a great job on every single one of these cars, as always. And you guys did a great job on viewing my video. <laughs> I had to put that back in there. I'm sorry. I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe and comment your favorite one down below. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.